Well, we are David Bowie, and we are doing a David Bowie show tonight with vegetables and birthdays. It's my wife's Wait. birthday. Oh, oh, so. Birthdays? Whose what? birthday is it, Eggplant? Yeah, whose got, birthday? I got married to somebody with a birthday many years ago. No, no, yeah. you did not. <laughs> Birthday, birthday, birthday to Beatrice! So, for any time you celebrate Beatrice's birthday, it needs to be in a location. Mm, okay. All right. Well, I have the high wire deck here with locations, mm. among other information. Ooh. So, you tell me when to stop. I'll just. Oh, it's like a card trick. <laughs> Some shuffler. He's a shuffler. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, keep going. Basement. What? Basement. Did you want another one? <laughs> basement. Basement. It is. Basement, and we gotta take basement. All right. All right. Basement. Our show is basement. 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 <laughs> Mom and Dad are gone for the weekend. And we have a half finished basement and I am going to have the basement party to end all basement parties. <laughs> Woo. And if I can get the rest of my siblings on board with it, I think we're going to have like a rocking party and people are going to say, Ooh, Darla, you threw the best basement party of junior year and uh, I don't know. Like, I hope the pool table is going to be big enough because they only got us one of those like sort of small size downs because it wouldn't fit. You know, it just it, it's not a huge basement, but I don't know. I, I think it's going to be fun. I can tell that Darla is throwing another party and I'm not happy about it. Um, I, I tried to remind her that the last party she had, like, our neighbors almost called our other neighbors who literally would have called the cops. Um, and like, I'm like gonna like go to Yale. And like, I, I told her if I get my scholarship like revoked or something, I haven't gotten a scholarship, but I will. And if it gets like revoked, like I will kill her. I will literally murder her. And like, you think I'm joking? I'm not, Darla. I <laughs> she sees this. <laughs> They say freshman year is the year that you set the tone for your entire high school career. So let me tell you, if Darla is joking around about this basement party and it's another one of her practical jokes, Darla, and it doesn't happen, my life is ruined. Ruins, I tell you. I mean, how hard is it? I've got two older sisters and I'm just trying to make a name for myself. And like nobody, literally nobody remembers Molly. And it's just upsetting. It's upsetting. Eh, my son and uh, his, my daughter-in-law put me in charge uh, while they're away. Everybody thinks Grandpa Joe isn't on the on the ball anymore, but I can tell you, I am every uh, every bit as on the ball as I was when I was a, a drill sergeant in the military. <laughs> and I can assure you that that nothing uh, nothing improper will go on here this weekend. I am here to prove myself and to prove that I am still having just as much as I ever did. Lieutenant, yeah, Lieutenant, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm here on, uh, on Westgate Road. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So you say there's gonna be, uh, there's gonna be like a, a young people's party in a, in a basement, all right, look. So I know the residents here don't want to be disturbed. I got gotcha. you. Okay. That's going to be a big deal. Um, well, look, uh, Deputy Alexander is on the case. I'm here. I'm going to be near the house. I'm not going to draw attention to myself. I might be 19 years old, but uh, 
the force is what I'm about, keeping the peace. So um, you, Westgate Road should be calm tonight. <laughs> we cut to Darla and Rabatha talking about the party. No, don't those are, those are the only cheez its that we have. You know that's the only thing that I can eat with my diet right now. That's cool. You can just eat cheese if you want. It's fine. Well, I can't eat I, cheese, Darla. That's the whole point. I have to eat the cheese it. Cheese it. Oh, girl, I'm not bringing some rancid cheese it into this party. This is an important party. Like we're just oh. like getting ready to like, you know, set off the most amazing junior year of all time. And just because you're my twin sister, it doesn't mean that you get to like rain on my parade and you have ooh, gross. <laughs> just i your friends are just like so loud and like like i i'm not gonna tell mom and dad because you swore that you're never gonna tell them about my painting thing duh that, that time that i had a boy over for uh to help me with my painting class and you're never gonna tell them about that right yeah of course i'm not gonna tell them about that i mean they would like never let me out of the house again or let any boys come over here if we did that so he was literally just helping me with my painting class because like i was out for those for those like few days because i had mono remember <laughs> yeah and then he was like painting on your body <laughs> no he wasn't no he just accidentally like touched part of my body he wasn't intentionally doing that god shut up Ooh. darla like stop doing that <laughs> we hey, i thought it was cool it's like the only cool thing you've ever done in high school so Whatever, duh, I'm not gonna tell them. <laughs> we cut to the okay. front, front porch with Grandpa Joe and Deputy Alexander. Yo, help me out. I think you're planning something here this weekend and I need your help. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? My granddaughter, they, uh, they think yeah, I'm just some old schmuck or something like that, and they're just going to get one over on me. But I, I, I need to prove to them and to my son and daughter-in-law that I am still sharp. And you, as a man of the law, are going to help me do it. Look, Grandpa Joe, uh, you can count on me. I'm, I'm 19 years old. <laughs> I... Oh no, I'm 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 torn a little bit because I'm 19 years old and this youthful party is going to arouse certain passions. No. At the same time, I'm dedicated to the city. I'm dedicated to the city and keeping us keeping us safe and calm. How am I going to reconcile those things? No, no, listen to me, kid. Yeah. When I was 19 years old, I was carrying a gun on my back through through the deserts of, of Africa on a special mission with the special forces, all right? <laughs> Thank you for your service, Grandpa hey, Joe. You're quite welcome. Uh, I, I don't get to talk about it too often. It's kind of, it was a kind of a secret mission, an unknown war, America's unknown war. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> but I was 19 years old. I thought, oh no. What and I bet you had passions too, Grandpa Joe. You must have had youthful passions. Oh my God, back then I was a passionate young man. You lose those things as you get older a little bit, you know? Eh, you lose those things. But I, at that time I was passionate, but I became, I found a passion for, for law and order, a passion for, for enforcing the laws and, and honoring my country and doing the right thing. And you, and you will too, you channel those passions. I want to channel that, Grandpa. I want to channel it, and I want to make sure that your daughters stay um, honorable and peaceful. But I'm also, God, I'm, I'm, there's something that's titillating me about this party. Now, no, don't let it get you. That, that's what I almost like it to me. Look, you need anything, you come to Grandpa Joe. You start having those, those tendencies, those temptations. You come here. And you cut to right Rabatha right and Molly in the kitchen. <laughs> Are you well, eating just all? The only thing that I can eat right now, my diet. So, I... so, no, but there's chips in the cabinet if you want those. 
Yeah, fine. I didn't want your Cheez-Its anyway. I am my own person. I am Molly. I'm tired of everybody lumping me in with you two. Grandpa Joe, did you fall asleep again? <laughs> oh, sorry. I'll get out of the room. I mean, if we can't pull this party off in front of him, we've got bigger problems. Mm-hmm. You know, You're Grandpa not- Joe, you know, he's fine. He's not, he's, he usually falls asleep during Wheel of Fortune and then he wakes up for a second. Um, and then he like oh. pretends to call like his old lieutenant, but I don't, we don't really know if like it's his actual lieutenant or. Okay. Um, but yeah, but then he usually goes back to sleep. Sometimes he takes a bath. And he, like, leaves the wire running the whole time. It's super weird. I'm I'm a little concerned that you know this many details about our Grandpa Joe. But, you know, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. This is going to be my chance to make my name. Like, I'm starting in high school. It's already bad enough that I'm, you know, like, the little one of, you know, the Fredrickson twins. I'm my own person. Yeah, we're quite, we got it. Jesus, Molly. Don't tell mom and dad I said that. Do not. I'll add it to the list of other things that I'm not supposed to tell them. I mean, it wasn't my fault that you overflowed the washing machine. I because... did. No. I, I didn't Let's overflow it. Grandpa Joe and Darla in the laundry room. Hey, Gramps. <laughs> hey, Darla. You, uh, you know you're my favorite granddaughter, right? You're my favorite grand. Okay. <laughs> well, at, at any rate, um, look, I, I, I hate to judge, but I just, I feel like maybe your sisters could be up to some uh, nonsense here this weekend. And, uh, <laughs> oh, my God. I, yeah, so I... I I hate to say that, but I, I, I just have, you get a certain suspicion after you've been in the military and raised six daughters and God only knows how many granddaughters and you just start to imagine sort of things, you know? And, but uh, I'm the favorite. I'm the yeah, favorite. Oh, yes. Of all my offspring, you know? Well, I mean, what did you see that made you suspicious? <laughs> Uh, so, uh, your two sisters, uh, I was way in the backyard and I, I saw them, uh, unloading a bunch of crates of, of something and I didn't see where they put them in the house. I'm feeling <laughs> perhaps beer or liquor or marijuana or something like that. I, I don't, I'm just, I don't know. My, right, let's my cut to, uh, Rabitha and, uh, Molly opening the crates. <laughs> Do you even know how to like like blow up a balloon? Like you got like like ten thousand balloons. Why are you so judgy of me? Just let me be my own person. Look, I, oh, okay. I I just like you went to Party City and you were there for like two hours and all you got were these like three crates of balloons that aren't even like blown. You, Party City can blow them up for you. Oh my gosh. I wanted to do it myself. So it was perfect. Again, this is my entrance into my high school career. And I needed the right shades of balloons and needed the right shapes and the right size. You, I don't, I don't think you're taking this seriously. You're just eating your Cheez-Its and like getting crumbs all in the balloons. Knock, knock, knock on the basement window. Who's, who, oh. Oh, uh, hello. I heard some noise. Oh, oh, yeah. Like a oh, man at the window. Yeah, no, I just, I, I heard some noise coming out of this window. I just want to make sure everything's wholesome down there. I, um, are you, a, are you a police officer? I'm an officer of the law. I'm just 19 years old, but I'm, I'm fully accredited. Oh my God, it's a fully accredited police officer. Molly, okay, just stop only, stop doing the thing. Ugh. I was just holding up the balloons. Mm-hmm. Officer. Oh, are you guys uh, having a birthday party? No, she's doing that. It's just an arts and crafts project. Um oh, okay. Yeah, we're yeah, we're we don't have parties. Um our grandpa's upstairs. Um he's taking a bath right now, but um officer, 
Um, yeah. What? Why didn't you just knock on the door? Well, I just want to make sure the neighborhood is safe. And I, you know, you don't often hear those um, bursting, blowing, um, those, uh, you know, those puffing plastic noises from a basement. But now that I know it's it's balloons, um, I feel a lot more. Oh, oh, um, look who's look who's. Hey, Grandpa, just every, if you, oh, if you go, okay. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I fell asleep during my bath and I must have slept walk in here. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi, Grandpa Joe. Let me, let me grab a towel here and put it over myself. Oh, oh. oh. Get out of here. Back to the tub. This is, um, this is a fully accredited police shop. Yeah, man. Grandpa Joe has done some amazing service in Africa. He really served our country, so I honor him. Oh, he, I, I don't know if he ever went to... um. Uh, he served in Pakistan mostly. Um, well, that's another place to serve honorably. Cut to Darla yes. coming around to distract Deputy Alexander. I, I'm going to go help my Grandpa. Oh, hey, police officer. What? Oh, my God. Are you, like, smoking? <laughs> well, I mean... <laughs> I am smoking, but I'm 19 years old, so it is lawful. Wow, you're 19, huh? Wow, that must be like so cool. <laughs> it is. It is pretty cool. It is pretty cool, but um, I think it's also pretty cool to to have a peaceful community and to to be able to resist all those temptations that can come creeping into a young man. You know, isn't that cool? No. I'm not sure I know, like, what you mean. Um, ring, ring, Darla's phone. Wait a minute. I've got to take okay. this. Sure, sure, sure. Dar okay. Darla. Darla. Yes. That's, that's a fully accredited police officer. You have to, you have to keep her cool, okay? okay I yeah, said, I'm I, always cool. Okay, here's the thing. We're doing crafts in the basement, and that's it, okay? And, and Grandpa Joe, he, he never served in Africa only Pakistan and it's super honorable and like don't do that creepy like like weird demonic smile that you do when you're trying to impress <laughs> people because it's like you, you just like you, 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 it's like if you're doing it now please stop because it's like it's probably like leading him on he's probably like figuring out that something's something's going down okay cool okay also do you know where do, do you sorry do you do you know what do you know where mom put the rest of the cheese it's no, I don't know where they are. You know what? I took those well, cheeses. Be because I know toilet. that you got like I... a dance call last week. Okay. Um, first of all, Deputy, I don't know if you knew this, but my grandfather fought in a secret war. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm hearing all these stories and I'm I am really impressed by his service. And I have to say, I'm I think about the vigor that that must have uh, instilled in his offspring. And it kind of, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty exciting to think about the vigor that his offspring must have. Um, well, I haven't told many people this, but um, I'm thinking I might enlist after graduation. Really? Yeah. I'd be proud well, what's to it like to be like in service the way you are to peace? There's a lot of challenges. I mean, there's a lot of challenges because I mean I'm flesh and blood. And like I uh I I have feelings just like you. And at the same time, I feel like I have to keep all of us safe and I, I have to repress those feelings. But and you need know. to follow the law. You need to follow, the, follow law the law in my heart, but at the same time my heart is beating so fast and uh, i just feel like there's there's so many things to discover and there's there's so much to protect at the same time you're so passionate you care so much about peace in the neighborhood you know i think there might be a party going on across the street later you should be watching there and it, across Grandpa. the street you mean at the the, the mcgillicuddy's house yeah okay well i'll I'll certainly keep an eye out for that. Cut to Grandpa Joe yeah. and Rabatha in the bathroom. I just think, like, Mom gets super mad when you have the bath bombs because they leave, like, residue. 
like all over the bath. I'm, like, I'm, I'm 94 years old. I can't have a bath bomb every once in a while, you know? No, I'm just saying, like, just like, I, I don't know. Just like, don't use 10 of them at a time, Grandpa. There was 15 of them, okay? <laughs> Look, it, it's like an addiction at this point, all right? It, it's like I started out with one and then I'm going up and up and up. And I just, I can't do it. I can't do it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yo, don't put them in the shower head. They're not where they belong. What are you? Where is I put them everywhere, you know? I, look, this isn't about me, though. I, when you get to be my age, you can do whatever you want. But at your age, young lady, you need to listen to your mother and father and your grandpa. An intolerable vanilla odor fills the room. <laughs> I think I'm going to be mm. sick. <laughs> we, cut to, we, cut to, we cut to the kitchen with uh, Darla and Molly. <laughs> hey, little sis. Really, like, did you light a candle? Whatever. Um, no, it's just, it's a bath bomb. And you know what? Grandpa Joe has just a few things that really make him happy. Me and bath bombs. And I just, we shouldn't stand in his way. Are you sure it's you? <laughs> hey, do you want any of these Cheez-Its? I found them like hidden. <laughs> Ew, gross. No, I don't want any Cheez-Its. And I want you to put them away because I don't want to see anybody. Nobody can see those when they come to the party because I don't want like low class Cheez-Its at this party. And you so should be eating those. The party, is, the party is definitely happening. It's definitely happening. Duh. Okay. It's happening. Okay. We're going to like distract Grandpa Joe. I put a really special big bath bomb um, at, right where he can't resist it. He's going to like take this long bath and we're going to like sneak everybody in. Oh my gosh. Is it the one with chamomile in it? It'll make him a little sleepy. Totally. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's all for the best because if he were really like, I don't know if he could remember what it was like to be our age, then he would remember like how important stuff like guys, this really is. Guys, Grandpa Joe, he's not waking up. What? what? He's not waking up. I told you he's not hey. waking up. I can't wait no, okay. it smells. It's, you tell her. It's chamomile. No, he's dead. I checked his pulse. What? Yeah, he's what? dead. Somebody could deputy oh. Alexander. We're just kids. I'm sorry. Right? Uh, it, it, it's it's too embarrassing to explain, but I, I've been secretly put my listening device in the house, and so I I heard what's going on. I Ew. I'm so sorry for Grandpa, and I'm so embarrassed that I was secretly listening to all of the all of you young and talk. But let me hear. Can you resuscitate him? No, let me try to resuscitate him. You guys are lucky I was able to drag him down here. Grandpa Joe. Grandpa Joe. Not too late. Grandpa Joe. Are you okay? Are you coming? Are you okay? Bath bombs. Where are my bath bombs? Grandpa. Oh my God. Thank you. We're so glad. Thank the Lord that you're that you can speak to us. You saved my life. Grandpa, I'm so embarrassed. What do I choose? Do I choose these 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 nymph these nymph beauties of your offspring, or do I do I do I become a chaste officer of law? Why do you call no. us that? I don't know. I just saw 94 years of my life flash before my very eyes. Was I there? You were there. Was I? You, especially you, were there, Darla. What's that mean? Uh, did, I, did no. I get laid? Did I get laid? Look, I took life too seriously. I want you kids to have the most bitching party ever tonight. No. What? Yeah. No. Grandpa Joe! I'm gonna go upstairs with my bath bombs. What I don't know can't hurt me. Good, and that's our set! <laughs> <laughs>